Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll show you how to do Sarima, which is a seasonal and an Arima forecasting model, which is a more common approach to forecasting because this Sarima, because it has the seasonal and the trend component, it far better reflects what happens in the real world. If you're interested in learning more about Arima, Sarima or other forecasting models, I have a new Udemy course that you can discover and I'll for sure leave the link in the description. To get us started, we need to get some data. We also need a couple of libraries for this. So library and then what I want to include is the first one would be zoo, control enter, library and then the one I want is forecast. Okay, go control enter again and now to get the data I include gold. Here we go. And if I want to access what is gold, so let me see what we immediately see is that there are some NAs, which is something that we cannot have during our anima. And then the other thing is that we have this frequency equals to one, which is as well something that I don't want because I want it to have a daily seasonality. So that means 365 should be our frequency. For the NAs, we'll replace them by the previous value because we're talking about prices. So I feel that this does make sense. So let's kick it off. How to do this? The first thing is the NA part. So gold equals, and then I use this function NA.LOCF. And then I just put gold and then from last, as we've mentioned, so from last equals to true. Here we go, control enter. Now for the frequency, gold again. Now TS for time series, and then I include gold. Then I include the start equals to 1985. So these are the daily prices starting in 1985. And then the last one, which is the important one, is the frequency equals to 365. Control enter. And you can see that I'm horrible at spelling. So let's change that frequency. And now yes. Now to do our Sanima model, which is the most important part. And how to do this? We create an object called model. And then we use the function auto arima. For those who have seen the arima video, you saw that I also use this auto arima function. And this is simply because this auto arima function works with arima, with sarima, with all forms of uh, the arima type models. And what I include inside. So the first thing is the gold. And then to make sure that it understands that it is a seasonal time series, I put D equal to one and let me do control enter. Now it will run for some minutes. So tick tock, tick tock, and I'll pause the video and come right back. All right. For me, that took roughly one minute, maybe 90 seconds. And now what can we do with this? We can do a forecast. So forecast equals, and then what we include inside, we include the forecast function and then we first include the model and then we need to include um, time horizon. So up until when do we want the forecast to work? So let's put h equal to 10. You can put 100. You can put whatever you want. So let's do control enter. And now that we have the forecast, it's very useful to plot the forecast. Here we go. Control enter and let us see. And and then we'd see here that the forecast would just increase a bit. I hope you saw how easy it is to do a Sarima or a seasonal Arima. I'm very much looking forward to seeing you in another video. Until then, have fun.